So this is how we're starting off the video. I did a multi, I'm on the weapons banner, and just, I'm bored. Look, I'm trying to get copies of the daggers, right? That's what, I mean, to be fair, that's what the video is about. And literally, I reset the banner. I've got no uh, rate up anything like that. I did the multi, a yellow multi. Lo and behold, an SSR appears. So I'm just like, you know what? This is going to be a fantastic way to start off the video. And I believe the next is going to be an SSR. Take that back. Oh, God. Pause. It's either... It's a 50-50. No, it's not a 50-50. It's a... Honestly, with the daggers, they're, they're going to be compared to, you know, the uh, other wind weapon more predominantly, the more buffed up uh, Demon King's longsword, which now we can run the longsword and the dagger together, which I'm definitely going to be doing a video for that, especially with the buff um, the Demon Longsword has gotten. I haven't checked it out, but it has been buffed up, so we're going to have to take a look at that. But of course, it's going to make the comparison between the West Wind. Now, ultimately, the West Wind, will it ever be replaceable? No. Look, it's an SL weapon. It does burst damage. You can drop absolute nuke. It is a free to play, uh, a free to play uh, weapon. Um, yeah, yeah. As as much as you know, yes, the daggers seem to be a, a, a contender. And once you dupe them out, I mean, the design for these weapons are pure DPS. Um, yeah, the Westman will forever just be one of the best. I don't know where it where, where things will go as time goes furthermore on, but as of right now, I mean, of course, the daggers require dupes, um, preferably A5, just put it out there. But at the end of the day, the West Wind will forever be catered to, no matter what. It's just such an easy weapon to get your hands on to drop nuclear bombs, right? It's as simple as that. So let's just kind of cut that out of the way. But no, the daggers themselves. I am fiending. I want these. I want to dupe them out. They, they hold so much power. They're like, in terms of wind weapon, where we're looking at right now, especially with the introduction of like a, a nothing but DPS weapon, wind low key is looking fine. Now, realistically, dark will always have the upper hand in my eyes, but wind is a close, close second going into the first, I will say. But yeah, the wind right now is looking stacked uh, with now the weapon. So, Want to get the daggers juiced up. I will say once I get these daggers juiced up, I think that's probably what I'm going to be opting out to. Unless I need range play, then of course the Western will always be catered to that. But anyway, um, so with the daggers, applies two as one while the Demon King daggers are equipped. The critical hit rate and critical hit damage of Cracking Thunder increases by 30%. Uh, two as one increases the damage of Cracking Thunder proportional of Sun Jun Wu's strength stat. Increases the damage of Crackling Thunder by 1% every 10 strength point, up to 50% and that's an infinite. And that's the uh, initial passive, of course, very solid. Now, I did say um, that minimum, if you do want to rock with these daggers, um, especially if you are lacking in um, wind weaponry, uh, especially if you don't have the West Wind at A3 minimum, um, yeah, if you are able to get the A A1 version of this weapon, then you're pretty much solid, because this is kind of like where you can get the additional um, hit him. So after using Crackling Thunder, the user can do a more powerful version of Crackling Thunder once as a follow-up attack. So you'll do the skill, the enemy will be paralyzed, and then you can redo the skill again. So you're getting two hits in. Um, when the user uses Crackling Thunder, it applies the Concentrated Lightning Effect. A Concentrated Lightning Effect instance is added to stack every second. All of Sanjubu's attacks add a bone stack of Concentrated Lightning. When the maximum number of uh, instances have been reached, uh, the lightning rush effect is applied and the concentrated lightning effect is removed. Lightning rush, when the user uses Crackling Thunder, it consumes one instance of lightning rush and that will give you an increase of 50% on your skill damage. So it's basically the same concept in terms of um, when it comes to the lightning. So as you're doing your hits, lightning will rain. It's basically the same as the longsword. When you're using the longsword, um, especially when you counter, lightning does come down. It's basically every time you do a hit, Lightnings will always come down. You guys will see, but yeah, it's it's pretty solid. Um, where, uh, wind damage increase on A2. Now, uh, so A3, so th th this is why I was trying to shoot for A3. I did do, um, I, I threw in an extra 70 <laughs> tickets. Um, I managed to get the Moon Shadow Dagger A5. So yeah, I, I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but I was really, I was trying my best to get it to A3. Anyway, um, enhances uh, two as one, concentrate lightning and lightning rush. So basically two as one, um, increases the damage of Crackling Thunder by 5% for every 10 strength points up to 150%. Goddamn. 
Um, and then Cultural Lightning Effect uh, added to the stack every second all of Sundry Moon's attacks add a bonus instance of Concentrate Lightning. When the maximum number of instances is reached, it applies the Lightning Rush, um, stacking up to 20 times of course. So with the Lightning Rush, uh, two instances are gained when applying Lightning Rush. When the user uses Cracking Thunder, it consumes one instance of Lightning Rush and <laughs> increases the skill damage by 150%. So that's why I was trying to shoot for A3, because uh, yeah, nuclear bombs are going to be releasing one after another with the with the A1 support. Um, and then cooldown on A4, and then on A5, uh, Crack and Thunder increases wind damage by 30%. If that was just overall, that would be crazy, but specific to wind, fair enough. Crack and Thunder area of effectiveness increases by 20%, awesome. Crack and Thunder charging distance increases by 50%. Crack and Thunder's damage increases by 150%. So yeah. All right. Now, in terms of damage wise, I will say A1, I, I would say it's kind of like the bare minimum if you want to maximize the damage um, at the very least. Uh, I think with my initial hit on average um, that I'm doing, it's, it's kind of like around like the 1.1, 1 million, well up slightly above 1 million and then with the second hit it really does kind of give me an extra 5-600k um, on average so I mean yeah for A1 uh, it's doing its thing so that is beautiful that's exactly why I suggest it but I am going to be fiending on the double paralysis that I can do so get back up go for the paralysis there we go We've got a second one coming your way Boom! Damn! Okay, that was a high roll and a half. <laughs> but then again, there, there, there's wind um, elements factor in, so there's that. Oh wait, what's going on? Wait, what? hello, hello. Oh yeah, also you guys can see, yeah, every time I, yeah, so lightning strikes. Oh, hello. Okay, it wasn't aware of that. Can I break this? Okay, can you just work with me here, please? There we go. Thank you very much. Then, there we go. Got the ultimate, and we've got double paralysis ready again. Oh my, I'm literally, and then of course, with um, Gina, we've got the Holt. <laughs> oh, I love stopping the enemies in their tracks. Okay, oh god, so there's one. I got another one for you. Boom, bad on that part. Oh, I didn't full balloon, I did that. No, I didn't. Okay, it's fine. What are you doing? Oh, yes, okay, that's fine. Well. Oh, hello. Get some extra dashes in. Go for the paralysis. Go, <laughs> just keep stacking up the paralysis. Oh, I love it. And then obviously, yep. Avoid that. Boom, boom. I mean, it works beautifully. Yeah, she's gonna go through her thing. I'm gonna activate this. I don't know if. I mean, that was kind of pointless of me because I just realized. She'd, I always think that I'm always going to get like a one hit bang right there, but it, it, it's something that builds up. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Um, Houston. Ooh. Okay, nice. Dash. Pra paralyze. And then go for another paralyze. Boom. 1.4. 1.2. I mean, there was additionals at phase 2, but it's all good. And then we all here. But no, overall. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the daggers. Clearly, I'm just going to be catering to the Westman until I get more dupes into this badass of a weapon. Clearly. Um, but uh, yeah, the developers did deliver. That is one of my uh, biggest worry was, I mean, what, what were they going to do in terms of uh, delivering a weapon to... Well, they, they, they had to make it outbeat the Westman, otherwise there would have been no point. Because <laughs> in terms of damage-wise, we're always catering to the next thing that hits harder, right? Um, but in this case, uh, it will require dupes. So the developers aren't stupid. They know what they're doing. <laughs> so yeah, overall, daggers, I don't know what it is, but daggers in this game, it seems that the developers love producing new daggers that are really freaking good. <laughs> um, but yeah, the way it's kind of working and the way it kind of looks and the way it kind of stands, the West Wind will forever be catered to. No, no, yeah, that's just a no brainer. Um, but once you furthermore cater into the daggers, like once I get it to A3, I think I'll be probably using it more, unless I really need to heavily get some good, good damage going off. But once I once I hit that A5 mark, then it's the, the, the daggers are going to be more catered to. But the West Wind, 
it's the bread and butter. It's been the bread and butter from the very first. Oh, from, yeah, from the very first day of the game. It will continue being the bread and butter. But with the wind element overall now in terms of weaponry, boys, we have got some choices to dish out damage. And I'm glad that the longsword itself, the Demon uh, Demon King Sword longsword, got buffed up too. That is awesome. So wind element weaponry right now is looking strong for us. So overall, it's a W. In terms of the daggers, fantastic. Amazing weapons. Minimum A1, so you get the double hit. But to really maximize it, A3, A5, that's what we're looking at.